What's up, y'all? I noticed something recently that I thought would be a little food for thought, a fun fact when it comes to dogs. So with Champ, I've noticed how when we're playing fetch, which he lives and breathes by this thing, pretty sure he would jump off the Empire State Building after this damn ball. Um, so we play a lot. He's gotten so good at reading my body language that he can predict where the ball is going to end up based on where my arm starts. So there's two main ways that I like to throw the ball for him. Typical baseball style where I pull it back over my shoulder and I throw it in front of me. <laughs> you can see him right now. Um, but then I also sometimes to kind of switch it up or psych him out and give Roman a chance to go get the ball, I'll pull it across my chest and I'll throw it either behind me or across off to the side. Um, just to kind of keep things interesting for one for me because it's a lot of this and it gets boring. But then I also want to keep him on his toes and have him go different directions. Um, but I've noticed that he will adjust where he's standing based on where my arm starts. So he's anticipating where the ball is going to end up to make it easier on himself to go get it. So prime example, if I throw it o or start over my shoulder baseball style, he starts to back up that way because he knows the ball is going to go that way. But if I pull it over my shoulder, he starts going off to my right. because He knows that I'm about to throw it that way. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Drop. Ah, ah. Roman, leave it. Un momento. <laughs> Drop, champ. It's on you. Dirt. Okay. But. Even if I turn my body a different direction, so say I'm going to throw it baseball style in front of me this way. Now he goes that way. Or if I pull it across my body and I'm going to throw it off to my right, he starts to head that way. Granted, I'm also shifting my weight. My whole body is starting to go that way. But this just proves how good they are at reading body language and a lot of people don't really understand that or think that that is the main way they communicate with one another but it is like think about it we speak to them they don't speak to each other they can talk they can have a whole conversation without saying a word just by simply watching what their the other one's body or the other one's face and ears are doing this is a prime example of that and with I've noticed a lot with my clients recently, specifically with recall, but with really any command, they're unknowingly giving some sort of a visual cue, a body cue that their dogs are picking up on, like I said, when it comes to recall, but they're not actually truly understanding the verbal command. And for that one specifically, that's a problem because when you need it, when your dog is running away from you or at least just facing away from you they're not looking at you they can't see the cue that you're giving and the main ones I see some of my clients do this and say come so the dog comes to them when they're crouched down or they do something a little bit more subtle like bow or slap their lap and say come or slap their side and say come the problem with that like I said with recall is they're not looking at you so they don't truly they only know that this means come this means come this means come or this means come if you just stand there with your arms at your side and say come and i've seen it happen the dog just stares at their owner like what <laughs> what are you asking me to do because you're not doing this which is what i'm used to so like recall is a struggle for them and it's not consistent um this is just this proves that point even more so because He's, they're so good at reading our body language, we don't give them enough credit for that. But if you're struggling with any command, but recall, specifically getting your dog to come back when called, think about what you're doing with your body. Are you giving some sort of physical cue 
that they could potentially be picking up on more so than the sound of your voice. Because I don't, I don't care where they're at, what direction they're facing. My dogs know what the word come means because I don't use any sort of physical cues. I'm very aware of what I'm doing with my body and I taught them that way to just listen to the sound of my voice. I'm not giving any sort of physical cue <laughs> at all that they could be picking up on. Um, so I'm confident that even if they're running away from me, I can say come and they're gonna stop on a dime and turn around and come back to me. They don't have to be looking at me to actually know what come means. So food for thought for anybody, trainers you might be struggling with this, um, owners you might be struggling with this. Look at, break it down. Are you doing something that your dog is seeing that could be hindering your training? If that's the case, back up and reteach your dog with leash pressure um, for recall you can have your dog in a sit stay and just use the pressure yes you are moving your hand a little bit but that's not going to be what they're picking up on you're giving them directional guidance on that based on the pressure that the direction the leash is pulling them to let them know that come means come to me so they're they're learning the verbal cue feeling the pressure of the direction that you're taking them and that's how they're learning rule of thumb if you're I want you to as my old cheer coach would say don't fart blink or breathe <laughs> I just want you to stand there and reteach your dog with the verbal cue only no movements whatsoever best of luck let me know if you have any issues <laughs>